Hello again. We're going to be very down to earth with practical uh, information and vocabulary. Um, we're going to talk about clothes, clothing, de vêtements. Here is a jacket. This is a summer jacket. You can see it's quite light. A winter jacket, not so light, and I certainly wouldn't put it on in July or August. Then we have a suit, which is a jacket and a pair of trousers which are matching. It's a bit more formal, and I don't wear a suit too often, but sometimes. Maybe even I'll wear one one day when filming for NetProf. When it's cold, you need a sweater, which comes originally, not very pretty origin, but comes originally from the word to sweat, transpirer. Then a shirt, and another pair of trousers. Now here there can be a real problem between the English and the Americans, because the Americans tend to call trousers pants. But for the English, pants are what you wear as underwear. <laughs> which Americans call underpants. Let's just have a look on the ladies' side now. This looks like a shirt, but for the ladies it tends to be called a blouse in blues. Here are two Skirts. Now, do you know where in Great Britain men wear skirts? In Scotland. But elsewhere, men tend not to wear skirts. This is a jacket, but can also be called a coat. You see, it's rather thick and warm. And this, une robe, is called a dress. Just a couple more details. A pair of gloves, very warm. and what the Americans call socks, which the British tend to call stockings, whether they be for men or women, where is in America, where in America, stockings are only worn by women. A last item, a bit formal, a necktie. Sometimes with very formal dress, men wear very short black neckties, and they're called cravats. And I think you can understand, you can guess what that comes from. Thank you for your attention.